Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about revolute join in Katia kinematics. Before we do the revolute join, we will discuss some basic things about revolute join. The revolute join is used to create a rotation and it eliminates 5 degree of freedom and allows only one rotation. In the revolute join, we use angle driven command to get the rotational moment in our mechanism. In this video, I will show you how to create assembly of the parts which we need to create simulation and then how to import assemble parts into kinematics. First of all, I close this window, then go to start, then click on assembly design. Here click on existing component and then select product 1. From here select first file that is wheel excel and click on open. Again do the same things for second part. So click on existing component then select product 1. From here select wheel and click on open now I am going to give some constraint to these parts so first of all click on offset constraint and select this face and this face of wheel axle and here change this value by 5 mm and click on ok and now click on this update icon now for second wheel I am going to copy this wheel so select this part and right click from here copy this part then select product and right click and click on paste here hide this part so right click and click on hide now select offset constraint and select this face and face this face and put the value of offset 5m and click on ok again click on update icon and show this part so right click on this and here select hide or shop option so in this way we built an assembly of axial wheel and two wheels to bring this assembly into kinematics workbench so after doing the assembly just click on start here Click on digital mockup, then select DMU kinematics. This will take assemble parts into kinematics workbench. You can see here we enter in kinematics workbench. Here, first I am going to delete this constraint. Right click on constraint and click on delete. From this specification tree, we create a mechanism under the application. For this, first we need to fix the base part that is our wheel excel so from insert and select this fix part or otherwise from dmu kinematics here fourth option is given that is fix part so click on fix part now in this dialog box click on new mechanism and give the name whatever you want so I am giving the name that is revolute joint and then click on ok and select this wheel axle for fix part here in this specification tree in the application 
we got the mechanism to generate the simulation we need to have one fixed part and at least one join and one command here we have a fixed part that is excel wheel and then we need to create a join and one command for the revolver join you can take from insert and click on new joint and then select revolute join or otherwise from dmu kinematics here the third option click on the drop down we get the kinematic joins toolbar in this toolbar the first one is revolute join icon so click on that here mechanism select in that revolute join and here you can write your join name first we need to select the lines line 1 and line 2 for the line 1 I am going to select the axis of this wheel axle and for the line 2 I am going to select the axis of the wheel for the planes you can either select the planes or surface of the parts for plane 1 select this surface and for the plane 2 select this surface now check this offset which is already at the distance of minus 5 mm and then click on ok now for this part or for this wheel we created a revolute joint here double click on this revolute join check this angle driven from here we can change the rotating angle and then click on ok here you get this dialog box the mechanism can be simulated now click on ok to check the simulation from DMU generic animation toolbar the first icon is simulation click on simulation and from here select the name of mechanism here select revolute join and then click on ok in this edit simulation dialog box check this automatic insert and from this radio button you can select the lowest value and highest value and you can change the spin box increments for lowest value it is 0 and for highest value I am giving here 360 degree and for the spin box increment I am giving here 30 the spin box increment is nothing but for every 30 degree here it takes one frame so click on ok you can see here it will increase by 30 60 90 120 150 180 210 240 270 300 330 and finally it is completed 360 here there are 12 frames each frame having 30 value of spin box increment now to check the simulation change the loop mode and bring back this to original position so click on jump to start and from here you can reduce the speed from this drop down you can change the speed of simulation and now click on the play button you can see here our simulation is running now 
now i am stopping this simulation so click on pause here in this loop mode there is three loop mode so first one that is only for one direction and only for one time so bring this to the original position and click on play button now this will top because we select the first mode now we again select the second mode in this mode this will rotate in the both direction clockwise and anti clockwise also so bring back this to original position and click on play button i am increasing the speed you can see here this will rotate in both the direction now click on pause now i am going to change the third loop in this loop the wheel rotates only one direction but it will rotate continuously so take it its original position and then click on play button you can see here the wheel is continuously rotating in one direction now i am going to create the revolute joint for this wheel also so first i am going to close this edit simulation dialog box now select the revolute joint for the line 1 select the axis of the axle wheel and for line 2 select the axis of the wheel for the plane 1 select this face and for the plane 2 select this face and check this offset icon and then click on okay here double click on this revolute joint and check this angle driven and put here value 0 and then click on okay now you can see here you get this dialog box the mechanism can be simulated click on okay select the simulation and from here select revolute joint and then click on okay there there is two options first one is automatic insert and second one is insert the difference between automatic insert and insert in the automatic insert you cannot give the simulation for the both the wheel at the same time so let's we start check this automatic insert select this radio button and change this spin box increment value by 30 and click on okay again select this radio button and change this spin box increment value by 30 and click on okay now for first wheel it will take 12 frames now again change this and for second wheel it will take another 12 frames now you can see here total frames are 24 change this loop mode and bring back this to its original position and now click on the play button you can see here the simulation of both the wheels are not working simultaneously so now we are going for insert for insert we close this edit simulation 
and again select the simulation select revolute joint and then click on ok now we are using insert option now here both the wheels are rotated at 360 degree now click on insert you can see here after click on insert for both the wheels only one frames then change the loop mode and bring back this to its original position and click on play button now reduce the speed of simulation now you can see here both the wheels are rotating simultaneously now I am going to create the revolute joint its center option for this close this toolbar and delete this second wheel and also delete this mechanism click on ok first we need to fix a base part that is our wheel axle so click on fix part select new mechanism put here the name of joint and then click on ok and select the base part that is our wheel axle now select the revolute join icon for the line 1 select the axis of the wheel axle and for the line 2 axis of the wheel for plane 1 select the surface of the wheel axle and for plane 2 surface of the wheel now here check this center option this center option means this wheel place at the center of this axle for the plane 3 select this surface and for the plane 4 select this surface and then click on ok you can see here the wheel is placed at the center of this axle double click on this and check this angle driven and change this value by 0 and this value 720 and then click ok here in this dialog box the mechanism can be simulated is given then click ok and to check the simulation select the simulation and from this toolbar select your joint name the our joint name is revolute joint so select this revolute joint and then click on ok select this radio button and change this spin box increment value by 30 and click on ok click on insert and then change the loop mode and bring back this to its original position and click on the play button here reduce the speed of simulation in this way we learn about revolute join and the difference between insert and automatic insert command thank you